So put your hands together and give it up for... Angry Man Duke here again. Very, very angry. And what am I angry about? Shall I begin? Bugs. That is not okay! Yeah, that's right. I'm angry about the same thing that angers you. I'm starting to work up some anxiety about this whole thing. That angers just about everybody, especially here in South Jersey. But they may cause rectal bleeding. And that is carnivorous insects. You wanna bite me? They're everywhere. Every time you walk out of your back door, your front door, you wanna go out like I am to the river. This is actually a spot where I filmed angry about Harambe. As well as a couple other videos, some of the mushy series. Okay. And of course I'm out here, I was flying the drone for a little bit. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. And while I was out here, my head was getting bit up. Now, is that my fault because I didn't put on bug spray? Yeah, it kind of is. But at the same time, I didn't expect it because there's a little bit of a breeze today. Damn, can't blame that on the dog. And ultimately, I'm at the river, which is moving water. You mean like in the toilet? There shouldn't be flying insects all over the place. You've made a believer out of me. I'm not just angry about flying insects. This is a big one. Even though they are tearing my head up right now, I'm also angry about the amount of ticks. Th they're both great. That are in the woods, and it seems like it's a greater and greater amount, like... Which concerns me very much. Is there less and less people, so I'm just getting a higher portion? I don't like human beings. Of ticks as I walk through the woods? A demonstration, perhaps. Oh, man. I'm, I'm all itchy. Or... Is it that the tick population is becoming higher and higher? It's too much winning! The same thing with the mosquito population. I, I know that I have very edible flesh. I'm nasty! And that insects prefer me over many other things. I'm a parasite! At the same time, it seems like the population is getting bigger. There's swarms of them when I'm, when I'm outside. They're everywhere. They tear me up. They eat me alive. They fly around. They buzz around and they'll, they'll bite me six, seven times. Yes, we can. And it's not even a problem like that. It seems like the rise of carnivorous insects, as far as bed bugs are concerned, have been growing over the past decade. Is it that, yeah, these animals actually thrive in the human environment to a degree where they're getting out of control, but the things that naturally eat them and destroy their population are unable to keep up and not overpopulating because the insects are flying and eating us. What is the solution? Or the insects are in our houses and eating us. And I know the things that are natural predators to bed bugs are like cockroaches and there's those bee looking things that don't actually fly. I know you, you don't actually want to have either of those in your house and you probably don't have either of those in your house, but at the rate that they reproduce, you'd have to have a ton of them to get rid of the bed bug problem before you could even tackle the other problem and cockroaches are almost equally as hard to get rid of in your house. That's your plan. That's not really what I'm angry I'm not really angry about cockroaches. I don't have that problem. Realistically inside the van if I have any insect problem it's summertime. We're on a bright and sunny and hot day. I could go park in a parking lot, leave my windows rolled up and get to 180 degrees and it would hold it there all day. You put the value of all life above your own. And that will kill any insect that is inside. However, I still have a problem every time I get out that I'm getting eaten alive. This is depressing. Right now, I'm going to be itching my head for the next half hour. Now, a mosquito bite doesn't actually last for that long on my head and I heal from tick bites relatively quickly. But the fact that in the video that you guys watched, I found 48 ticks on me. That's insane. Now, I understand there is a possibility and a probability that nobody else had been on the trails where I found those ticks on me, but that doesn't mean that I should be getting eaten alive. That's what she said. I mean, it, it's insane. I've read it only about two of them actually bit me because I got most of them off as soon as they were on me. This is a feminist myth. But that doesn't mean that that's good enough. I honestly think that we should stop hunting wild turkey because their diet consists majorly of ticks and fleas. They need our help, right? No, they don't. And I think that that would help destroy the population a little bit. And I'm sure there's other things that eat ticks and fleas. When you're tasting her blood. Particularly ticks that we should, you know, let go wild. In the case of mosquitoes, there was an argument a couple years ago where someone had developed a bioengineered mosquito 
that would only produce male eggs. In other words, if the male inseminated the female's egg, that female would hatch to be a male. They would all be males, so eventually they would die. The other upside to males is males don't bite you, it's only the females that bite you. Yes, yes, yes. After, you know, a generation or two, there would be no more mosquitoes. Now, I was kind of against this. They are a nuisance, they are a problem. We might need to find something better to keep them off of us. Maybe there's something that we can put in our diet to keep them off of us because they have to have always been a problem. I can't imagine that humanity was that troubled by insects throughout all of human history. Perhaps we just need to find it. I get lavender and tea tree oil and those kinds of things and citronella, that, that stuff, but I don't think that all of humanity always had those things and those things aren't necessarily indigenous around here even though we have them around here. Weird. I think that we could maybe look into better repellent in order to keep them off of us because I still think that these things are natural parts of the circle of life and the food chain. If we eradicate all mosquitoes, it's going to be a huge problem. If you like this and you want to see what else I'm angry about, go ahead and check those videos there. Or if you want to see how you can possibly win one of three rings, you can check out these, this video here. As always, I want you to like the video, subscribe. You can pick yourself up an angry Mandu coffee cup. Thanks for watching. I'll see all my friends later.